This video is brought to you by Train Signal, your home for IT training products. Welcome to Train Signal. You're watching the Getting Started with Google Apps mini series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up easy URLs for mail, calendar, and the documents and spreadsheets. Now, the process is pretty much the same for all three. So, we're only going to do one together, and then you'll be able to do the rest on your own. So, let's go ahead and jump on into the control panel for Google Apps. And let's start off with getting the email settings. So in the email settings, we're going to change the URL so we don't have to go to this really crazy uh, URL anytime we want to get our, when our users want to get to their email. So we're going to select uh, this one. It's pretty simple. Let's alter it just a little bit. And we'll have our users type webmail.sastrainingonline.com. And now we'll hit continue. Now, in order to use this custom URL that we've just specified, we have to change a CNAME record with a domain host. Now, we've seen this in a previous video when we were taking a look at the domain verification and the MX records. So now, let's just take a look at the quick item here. We need to find the CNAME settings and enter the following as a CNAME value or alias, webmail. Let's jump on over to GoDaddy, who is our host, here, host for our sastrainingonline.com. We're going to go to my account and we'll go here to manage domains. We'll go to sastrainingonline.com and from here we're going to go into the total DNS control and MX record section. Now we need to alter the CNAME item for this particular one and you'll notice here that webmail is currently already a CNAME record and it's currently pointing to webmail.secure server. We're going to make an alteration to this by clicking on the edit button and let's flip back over to Google Apps. See we need to set the CNAME destination to the following address GHS and again this is all about copy and paste. I'm going to copy this destination jump back over to the DNS control panel and then replace the points to host name record with webmail secure server.net to ghs.google.com and let's see what is there any time to live items we need to, to fix nope I think we're looking good and so now all we have to do now is click on the OK button and we should be good to go let's see here getting to the OK button there we go and we'll click on that now it might take a little bit for the CNAME record to update. So let's just go here and take a look at where, okay, webmail, just double checking to make sure that our CNAME record is accurate. I think we're looking good. I think we're in good shape. So now we're going to go back to Google Apps. We've saved the changes with the domain host and we're going to click on I've completed these steps. We'll click on that item. And now we should be good. You'll notice here that our new URL is webmail.sastrainingonline.com. Now we can do the exact same process for the calendar, docs and spreadsheets, web pages, and the start page even. So, however, in this case, you know, we don't really, I'm not going to walk you through every each and every one because the process is exactly the same. All we have to do is specify the item that we want to change it to in the URL, continue, and then we're going to go back and be making changes to those CNAME records over and over and over again. Now, if the CNAME record does not exist, we will need to add it. So you'll see that the process to create a nice, pretty URL for your users to access the Google App Services, it's really very simple. You just have to have access, once again, to that DNS um, setting. So, that concludes our short little tour on how to create nice and pretty easy URLs for mail, calendar, docs, and spreadsheets, and all the rest of the Google services. This video is brought to you by TrainSignal, network admin's number one choice for professional IT training, where you'll find videos on Microsoft, Cisco, Linux, CompTIA, and more. Come visit us today at www.trainsignal.com.